is how to distinguish the cis and trans isomers of pt nht whole 2 x2 so this is a square planar complex of platinum where we can have two geometrical isomers one is cis another one is trans now when we are talking about distinguished it is always better if they have drastically different colors but that is not the case their colors are close to each other so that is why just by looking at them that is their physical appearance color it is really not possible to distinguish okay so we have to do some chemical test now obviously there is always the process that is spectroscopy by which you can distinguish them but if we do not want to use that if we want to use some physical technique that is i'm talking about chemical reaction that we can perform in the laboratory and that must be very easy to do okay so that is best way by which we can distinguish them so here other than spectroscopy the physical technique that we are going to use that chemical test is known as kurnakov test so by this test we can differentiate these two so for this test what we have to do we have to take the complex and it is to be treated with thiourea now when we say urea the structure is c double bond o and both side there is nh2 group now it is thiourea that means this oxygen now it is replaced by sulfur so for the complex the first complex we have taken here is cis you can understand same group they are on the same side to ammonia they are on the same side or you can say 90 degree to each other and the two cl they are also 90 degree to each other that means it is cis complex now here for this complex four thiourea molecules are required so here what will happen all these four ligands two ammonia and two chlorine all this will be replaced by four thiourea ligand and this thiourea it is neutral ligand and if you look at the complex this two that is nh3 it is also neutral ligand but chloride cl minus it is ionic ligand so that is why when we are removing the two cl and two nh3 and their place now it is taken by four thiourea obviously there will be two plus positive charge because the oxidation state of platinum here is two now all the ligands are neutral so to neutralize it two chloride ion that will be present outside the coordination sphere so the structure that we are getting after this reaction where pt is surrounded by four thiourea i am writing in short tu which is basically thiourea and outside the coordination sphere we have cl2 so this is a ye yellow water soluble complex so the solution after reaction that we will get that will be yellow in color and if we cool the solution we can get yellow needles that is crystals and what about the trans complex now when it is trans two thiourea molecules required here only these two chlorine that will be replaced by two thiourea fine and two chlorine when replaced that means here also two negative charge that will be removed so as a result to balance these two plus charge because all the ligands that are present here for uh, two thiourea and two ammonia all are neutral so that is why these two plus charge that will be balanced by two chloride outside the coordination sphere now this complex if we compare solubility it is insoluble so the white color that is there will be white precipitate formation so there will be white precipitate formation because of its insolubility but in the previous case it will be as it is soluble the solution of the color is yellow but on cooling we can get yellow crystals so here ultimately there is some different color uh, generated after the reaction so whenever we want to do any chemical test by which that is our purpose is to distinguish not just for these two complex i'm talking about in general there must be some visible change it may be color change there may be some precipitate formation or evolution of gas sometimes with specific smell so i'm trying to say there must be some uh, difference in observation fine so here what is the difference in one case we are getting yellow solution which on cooling you can get yellow crystal and in the second case it is white precipitate formation so from these two color uh, difference we can easily understand which one is cis 
which one is trans. So for trans we will get white precipitate and from cis we will get yellow solution which on cooling we can get crystals. But the question is why we are getting these different types of uh, complex and also the different colors and the reason is here the reason for these different products it is actually the trans effect. So basically we are utilizing the trans effect of different ligands. Here we have total three ligands Cl, NH3 and thiolidin. We are utilizing the trans effect of these ligands to distinguish these two complex and this reaction is known as Kulnakov test. So here the trans effect that we are utilizing it is the effect of a ligand towards substitution of other ligand which is trans to it. So that is why the name trans effect. So if we have any metal and suppose we have any ligand and this is L1, this is 2, this is 3, this is 4. So suppose here if I am talking about that L1 is having maximum trans effect compared to other 3 then the ligand which is opposite to L1 that is trans to L1 in this case it is 3 that will be replaced. So this is in very simple uh, words we can say this is the trans effect fine and if we compare the order of trans effect of these three ligands because in our case we are dealing only with these three ligands thiourea, chlorine and NH3. So this is the order of trans effect maximum is Tu, thiourea, then Cl then NH3. So that is the reason when we have taken the trans complex here we have two ligand in the that is starting compound Cl and NH3. Now among Cl and NH3 Cl is having higher trans effect. So that is why if we focus on chlorine trans to chlorine there is another chlorine. So that is why when you are treat the first Tu it is reacting it will replace any of this chlorine. So here suppose this chlorine is showing trans effect. So another chlorine trans to it that is replaced by Tu. Now next Tu that is replacing this chlorine. Why? Because now if we compare there are total three types of ligands but Tu is having maximum trans effect so that is why Cl which is opposite to it that will be replaced. So finally you are getting this compound where Pt it is associated with 2 thiourea and 2 ammonia with 2 plus charge and that is balanced by 2 chloride. Okay. So this is a white complex that we have seen in the previous slide. White precipitate I mean. Then for the cis complex now again chlorine is having more trans effect. So that is why now opposite to chlorine both this chlorine actually two ammonia and both this will be replaced by two thiourea ammonia. And then in the second step when we have chlorine and Tu, Tu is having more trans effect. So now these two chlorine also will be replaced by two more thiourea ammonia. So finally we are getting Pt with four thiourea two plus charge that is balanced by Cl2. So this is the yellow color solution remember in the last slide you have seen on cooling we can get the crystal. So the answer of the question that is how to distinguish these two isomers geometrical isomers of platinum complex the answer is here it is Kunakov test and in this test we are basically utilizing the trans effect of these three ligands because they are trans effect order of trans effect is Tu then Cl then ammonia. Fine. So if you find the video helpful please go ahead and also have a look in the description box below where you will find all the important playlist link. I will see you in the next video.